everybody, and for my IRP, I chose Little Brother by Cory Doctorow. Um, the setting is in the San Francisco Bay Area, and it takes place around now. The main character is Marcus Yellow, and in the beginning of the book, Marcus and his friends skip school to play a game, kind of like Pokemon Go. Um, unfortunately, at the same time, a terrorist blows up the Bay Bridge, and this is, this is a case of being in the wrong place in the wrong time. Marcus and his friends are arrested as suspects, and they're taken to a secret prison where they're brutally interrogated by the Department of Homeland Security. When he's released, he realizes that California has become a police state, um, where there is ten times the amount of cameras, there's a lot more cops, and you're just tracked everywhere. Because of this, Marcus decided to fight against the DHS and try and regain his freedom. I think the author really nailed it with the beginning, and I would rate it a thumbs up because it sets up the plot quite nicely and it draws you straight into the book. I think the most interesting conflict is the one Marcus has with himself, his friends, and his family. I chose this conflict because I thought it was interesting to know what went on in the mind of someone who started a revolution. So what happens is, most of his friends and his family don't agree with what he's doing and it really impacts on how he does things and also it makes him disbelieve in, in himself and what he's doing. And that's a big thing too. If you don't believe in what you're doing, you're not going to get it done as well. You're not going to work as hard. As of now, you are thinking of one of six things. A. Why does he keep changing his background and his t-shirt? B. Is he really this bad at acting? Or C. This is really, really interesting. Or D. Oh my god, I am so bored right now, I wish I wasn't here. Or E. Why is it suddenly so dark in his room? The correct answer is F. All of the above except C. This is because at the beginning of the brain games, I said, As of now, you are thinking of one of six things. Yet, there were five on the list. So, the character I picked was one that you see later in the book. She is a very important person, and her name is Barbara Stratford. She affects how the plot turns out because she does something very impossible and brings something out that will change the ending of the book. So I went back into the book and I found that it did describe what she looked like. So it says that she was a tall thin woman and she had a hawk like nose with glasses and shrewd eyes and her f face had a lot of laugh lines. Now her motivation was that she wanted to claim the title of being the one who found out what the Department of Homeland Security was doing. So I think Barbara is a static character because she always sticks with Marcus and she never gives him away and she decides to stick with him. So on to the next question. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would rate it a 9 because it was a very interesting book with very interesting ideals and ideas and they put out so many, the author puts out so many thoughts into the book and she just develops a great character, great characters together. I'd say the only thing she needs to improve is after a while in the book, 
she just keeps adding problems and he has to fix it. He keeps adding problems, he has to fix it. It's predictable. I'd say he needs to, um, during the middle of the book, I think she needed to change it up a little bit. But other than that, it was an amazing book. 9 out of 10 rating. Great job. Now for the last part of the video and the last brain game. Alright, so the question is, what do you see on screen? If you said the letter A, then you are incorrect. The correct answer is the color red. So now we move on to the last question of the day. What color is the letter A? If you said the color gray, then you are incorrect. The correct answer is a light black. <laughs> so I hope you all liked it, and I'll see you in the next one. Hoorah! Hi. So for my IRP, I'm doing... The correct answer is a light black. <laughs> I'm such a genius.